Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello, and welcome to Pop Turnative. This is the talk show and podcast where we have digital discussions, worlds of TV, film, news, pop culture, everything really. Depending on the guests, we talk about it all. As always, I'm your host, Peter Romoliotis. On social media, you know me as Pity Beats, you'll recognize my guests from a lot of cool things, a lot of cool TV shows, SEAL Team on CBS and Paramount Plus, and most recently, Panic, that just dropped on Amazon Primes. Carrie Metters is with us. Carrie, welcome to Poptournative. Oh, thank you for having me. <laughs> it's exciting. It's an exciting time, right? Because you have a lot of projects that I feel like are pretty timely right now that are like are not... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's kind of cool how it's all aligning. Like, the universe is like, here you go. <laughs> what's that been like for you in terms of you you shoot but you shoot a lot of these projects at different times they just happen yeah. to like be out at the same time right yeah yeah it's like it's crazy to think that you know still team is like a couple months and then panic has been over like i it's been maybe about a year about that one so it's like everything is kind of just coming together and then it's all released yeah at the same time. and i'm like that's so odd but it's cool at the same time. No, yeah. absolutely. And we're going to get into Panic. It just dropped on Amazon Prime and, of course, Seal Team. But for you as like a storyteller and an actor, what did that start for you? Like, what led you towards that kind of path? The path? I, I was kind of always doing it since I was a little kid. Um, my parents were always like, she's very expressive. Like, I, I would always, I always wanted to be an entertainer. And that's the one thing people would always tell me. Yep. Um... And that kind of got into lessons and acting. And then I kind of knew that for me to release myself, I was like, I just need to be different people and I needed to express it. So yeah, here I am. Absolutely. <laughs> and here you are and, and Panic just dropped on Amazon. I mean, it's one of those shows where there's just a lot going on in Panic. Was that kind of your, like, I don't know, were you familiar with like the books before the, the show came out at all or? Yeah, no, I ended up reading the book by Lauren. Yeah. And and um before i even and it's just insane and i was like oh okay um and then getting the audition and then doing that i was like oh okay i, I like knew what was going to happen but then when all of the episodes came out it was like oh this is so cool how it was written it is pretty cool i mean there's there's a lot going on and it is an ensemble cast. There's a lot of you in this show and a lot of you kind of are around and everything what was it like kind of working with this cast for panic loved it um it was kind of the uh it, it was because the show is so like thrilling and everyone's kind of like closer in age it was my first like young adult thing that I had done I yeah had, like, teen kind of vibe so everyone around me was kind of the same age and I was like this is so cool and my favorite thing was that most of our shoots were always night shoots Mm -hmm. So everything was like, you were staying up all night with all these people. So it got to the point where it was like 3 a.m. <laughs> and we would be in the back of the truck and we would just look at each other. And it felt like we were losing our minds because we were just like, we're in it. This is, this is, this is how it is. So it's true. There are a lot of scenes at night. <laughs> now yeah. that I think about it. Usually those scenes are like 3 a.m. Well, like, all the challenges, all the challenges are at night. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure all of them are. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy and you know you work on this as a young adult aspect then you work on seal team which is a show that's been around for a while and yeah. has developed such a amazing fandom that's I like it's it. just incredible what's it like kind of working on a show like that oh i think it's beautiful i it was kind of one of the first projects i really got to be a part of and um it's it feels like family to me so every time i come back to set or anything everyone it's just like immediately clicks and we all just vibe together absolutely and beautiful and that's interesting too because that's a show that has like obviously its main characters and mm -hmm. i just what the one thing i loved about it is every it, they do a very good job of like everyone kind of having important kind of storylines yeah. you know what i mean like it's yeah. spread out pretty well if you know what i mean no like the, the writers are doing an amazing job they're always they're just developing these storylines that we always have questions about and you're like oh okay thank you for like clearing that up i think it's, it's beautifully 
beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah. Did you ever have any kind of goal or a mindset in mind about what the type of projects you kind of wanted to work on? Obviously, you know, you'll go where the, like, if an opportunity comes, you'll go for it. But were you hoping you were going to work in, like, YA, like, young adult and stuff like that? Or have you not really thought about it that much? Yeah, no, I've always wanted to do something that was super gritty. Yeah. Um, And I feel like Panic is definitely around there with the young adult, like, vibe that so getting that I was like oh this is this is definitely one of my goals and then fulfilling it I was like I feel so good <laughs> absolutely um you you talked a little bit about like almost like you were kind of like destined to be kind of a storyteller um yeah. and you're in a lot of these shows as an actor you know we see you in the, as these characters but a lot of people end up also like aspiring to go behind the camera as well, like direct and write and everything. Maybe acting is something you kind of want to focus on, but have you thought about kind of doing the writing and directing down the road maybe, or you want to focus just on acting? Yeah, so I actually am a freshman in college. I do all of that online acting, and it's definitely, I want to be a film major. So it's already in my head of what I want to do just because... I have stories that I want to tell that I haven't seen yet. And I'm like, I really want to do that. But I feel like it's one of those things too, where you're working on a show, whether it's like seal team or yeah. panic and you're with a lot of people and yeah. like you, you obviously between takes and stuff, you have time to like hang out like go to craft services and everything. I'm sure there's a lot of like ideas and projects spitballing all the time. Like oh, Absolutely. <laughs> it's always, it's so funny to me because you know, when you're in that process, you're like, I think, we should do this. They're like, I think, let me tell you this storyline that I have. I always, um, especially in SEAL team in makeup, like in the makeup and hair, we always talk about theories that we have and, and future episodes will happen. And we always like bet to see who's going to win the theories. Absolutely. <laughs> a little bit of like a two part question. I mean, like for SEAL team and panic for both of them, what are you hoping people get out of it when they watch these shows? Like what, what are specific kind of mindsets you want them to take away the takeaways when they watch the shows, Carrie? Oh man. I, I think they just, when you watch shows, anything with watching, you know, film and TV is just kind of like an escape from, everything that's happening and I hope that they can just really fall in love with these characters and get so engrossed and trapped into these storylines that it's with them absolutely it's 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 so true too and there is a lot of content out there right now it's a crazy time obviously and um what with panic a lot, I know like Olivia and a lot of the the, the uh, mains in that show, mm-hmm. they were casted a while ago for this project. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so for them, it's the, the fact that it's like finally out, I can't even like imagine what like what's going through their minds. You know I what know. I mean? I know. It's, it's, it's crazy to think that it's all here because it, it started, because I know they did it way back, but then um, we for, I first got on set with Panic in like, late 2019 so the Mm. fact that it's like 2021 i'm like oh it was it was a while absolutely oh i i think i lost you for a second can you hear me yeah i can yeah yeah, we're good it's pre-recorded so i I can edit that part out it's all good um five four three two and besides like acting and storytelling though um it's it, it there's a lot kind of going on right now and there's a lot of stories being told what are you loving the most right now about storytelling is it the fact that there's so many different stories that are being able to be told like did i just hit it like is that basically what you're enjoying? <laughs> i feel like you kind of said what you're trying to say i i just think there's so in storytelling there's so many people's opinions in with the ways that they want to tell a story. And I think that's so unique because everyone's got a unique way of storytelling. So, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, well, like you, you talked about some of the night shoots on panic um, yeah. and there are some intense moments and a lot of intense kind of scenes. Yeah. Um, what can you tell us about some of those big scenes that were kind of involved? Like, or like, what, what can you tell us about, you know, working with the cast on some, a lot of those scenes and seeing kind of the challenges come to life? Like the challenges I feel like is what makes the show. Like we want to kind of see the yeah. challenge, right? You want to know what the challenge is. That's exactly. Yeah. Um, I think it's so interesting because when you read it off of a script, you're like, okay, how is this going to be set up or how is this going to happen? And then when it comes together, you're like, wow, this is, especially with all the editing and everything, it's like, wow, this is like really cool. Um, especially with the tiger, 
The tiger was the main one for me, just because of. See, it's in the trailer. It's funny because, like, I w- I was I want to interview a lot of people from the show, and I was kind of like, if I bring up the tiger, I do, I kind of I don't know if I want to because maybe it's like a yeah. spoiler, but it's in the trailer. <laughs> Like, I didn't say anything. I just said it could literally be nothing. But it's in the trailer because I remember, like, I, I got to see it, like, before it was out, yeah. right? Because I yeah. was uh, – and, like, um, you see the tiger, but, like, I wasn't yeah. sure if they were going to, like, bring it up. And then the trailer came out and the tiger's in there. So I was just like, okay. Like, <laughs> yeah, the tiger is crazy. Like, that that was a really yeah. wicked storyline. Um, what are you also hoping that – like, with the – word, like, do you ever have – I guess it's different different projects, but you got you show up, you have these characters. Um, do you, do you have different goals sometimes for characters? Like, do you have kind of hope sometimes that there's kind of wiggle room you can like throw your own kind of ideas to a character? Is it sometimes kind of like a challenge maybe where you're promote you're throwing a character and yeah. you're just like, okay, I want to hit it perfectly like what they want. Like, what's that like? Does it depend on the project basically? Yeah, it, it basically depends on the project I usually create a binder and when I'm going through things I know that in a story I want my character to arc personally depends on even if it's on the paper I just I always create that in my head and I I move along with it and if there's like discussion of furthering different ideas then I'm always down to talk about it because I kind of go with like my base and then I bring it to whoever and I'm like okay this is what I have but like, let's talk about it and let's explore opportunities of what my character could potentially be. And you've, you know, you you've been work, you've you've had a chance to work on some incredible shows, and a lot of these shows are on different uh, streaming platforms, right? Amazon yeah. Prime, Netflix, Paramount Plus, now CBS makes the move. Uh, Seal Team makes the move there, which is exciting. Um, what's that like, kind of being a storyteller in this unbelievable time we're in, where streaming services and so much content? Like, what's that like for you? It's so interesting. I, I always find it so fascinating that you can get everything immediately. Yeah. And I think that's so cool at the same time because I am victim to just sitting on the couch and watching a whole series of something. So I, I like that it's so quickly there um, that you're able to have it released and see it all at once. Absolutely. Thank you so much for doing this yeah. interview. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. So people can watch Amazon. They can watch, well, they can watch all the shows you're in yeah. like right now. <laughs> I mean, like, they can watch all of them. <laughs> <laughs> but specifically, Amazon Prime just dropped on Friday. Um, yes. All 10 episodes are available. Uh, Panic okay. on Amazon Prime. It's a ride from top to bottom. Like, it, it's, it's, a, it's a ride. Like, and it doesn't, it doesn't skip a beat, eh, Carrie? No. <laughs> like, it's just it like, yeah. like, oh, Okay, no, but you know, you know, you've been, especially like there's some, some like shows that kind of take a little bit of a break and like they prepare you and there's like conversations with people. This one does not stop. No, it just keeps going. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And where can people follow you on social media to keep up to date with everything? Um, It's just my name, Carrie Metters. That's yep. literally what you can find me on. Absolutely. Well, this has been Pop Turn at youtube.com slash Pop Turn for previous episodes. Until next time, this is Carrie Matters and Petey Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.